Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Professor Hamda from Kampara, Uganda. I'm sending messages regarding hospital management to our colleagues in Ethiopia. Thank you very much. This is the reception of a hospital in a, lo in a remote area in Tanzania. This particular hospital is a small hospital, but uh, they are doing 5S activity. Nicely arranged uh, uh, OPD medical record, as you can see here. So this is a TOT, as we, uh, uh, we often mention about that. Trainers training. Then we have already exposed to the leadership in the previous video. This particular topic is coming back in latter stage. Then, ladies and gentlemen, we are learning 5S principle and mountain of hospital management at the same time in a parallel way. I think this is very important to get to know the entire framework and also the one topic which is essential for climbing up the mountain of management. Five S's are something like this, as we have already well known, well, well informed, sort, set, shine, standardize, and sustain. In this session, I want to just make an emphasis, uh, emphasis that the uh, waste management is uh, one of the uh, important symbols of five S activity. Waste management will start from the segregation from the production side of the waste. I think within the, within the hospital building, we have to have a clear segregation and color coding of the waste bin. And then the, those um, collected uh, waste should be sent to the col final collection site. But unfortunately, the reality is sometimes like this. It's a messy situation, although they have a segregation within the building. But uh, this condition will be uh, slowly improved normally. It comes to be like this, and later on it comes to be like this. Color coding and clear separation. Then the incinerator will be nicely uh, operated, uh, making, uh, making the whole uh, final process is very uh, uh, effective and then uh, and this machine will be nicely operated with reduction of the waste of waste of uh, fuel because the contents uh, volume of the waste could be reduced according to our three R uh, movement reuse recycle and then reduce something like that so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in terms of the content of the five S activity, today we want to go to the process set. Uh, five S is a sort, set, shine, standard, and sustain. This is the second S. Set means giving orderliness to the essential items for work. Uh, I think you, you, you have already seen this particular diagram. I think this is, this is the situation of set. Then you see the, what is the typical uh, uh, function of the hospital in relation to this particular setting process. This, one of them is a store management. As you can see, as you can see here in these uh, photos, Sometimes uh, we have a messy situation, but if you can talk to the person in charge carefully and then repeatedly, he or she will, will understand very easily to have the betterment of the arrangement in the store. This is a pharmaceutical store. Then later on, they will have a further improvement to have a numbering or a uh, or they adopt the system of the arrangement of the pharmaceuticals according to the guidance of the ministry. Then as you can see here, uh, each item could, could have a tagging or labeling of the name. All names and tag could be simply made by the staff. For that particular purpose, definitely we need a stationary set. Uh, having those stationary set, 
the people start to enjoy the work in putting a tag or label. So, ladies and gentlemen, having said that, we have to always be very holistic to have a view to the entire system of the hospital management. We come back to mountain of management now. We highlight a Kaizen process at the, at the step of the, the third one from the bottom. Kaizen is, as you can see, a problem solving for staff, for the benefit of staff and also the benefit of our patients and clients. So uh, we have uh, two different types of Kaizen. One is a quick Kaizen, or we can say small Kaizen. The other is a full-scale Kaizen with measurement. Sometimes we call it a, a full-scale Kaizen with QC story, a quality uh, a circle story or something like that. So today I want to make a highlight on this particular quick Kaizen. Quick Kaizen is very good for small and simple problem with single contributing factor. Uh, I will just uh, show you one example here. Uh, at the medical, uh, medical world, beds are segregated into three group, uh, groups, I'm sorry the misspelling, with color coding based on the patient condition. Group A, beds for the patient requiring frequent observation and then care. Group B, beds for uh, patient with uh, regular care, and then three is the bed for uh, uh, the patient ready to be discharged. This kind of arrangement could be done by quick Kaizen. So, quick Kaizen. Um, there is no need to have a um, numerical measurement and the quantification, and then we have to use the checklist uh, for, the mo for the monitoring purpose of the process then uh, maybe um, this kind of Kaizen activity could be regarded as a transition uh, from the 5S activity to uh, full-scale Kaizen. As you can see here, this is a, a buffer stock system of the pharmaceutical, which was, uh, which was installed in, the, in the each ward and, uh, and the OPD and also to the emergency. This kind of thing is a product of the quick Kaizen. Then reception area could be used, uh, could be applied uh, this kind of quick Kaizen. This is before, then this is after. Uh, you, can, you can see the difference. You can see the difference here. This is before and this is after. Then uh, other, uh, the classification of the uh, patient was as you can see here, three different uh, uh, section of the patient bed according to the condition of the patient and then color coding is, is given. This kind of thing is a small case. I think it is not so difficult for us to start one or two, maybe by tomorrow. Apart from those uh, quick Kaizen, we, we can have a full-scale Kaizen or we can call it a Kaizen with a QC story. The, those uh, full-scale Kaizen is good for problems with multifactorial contributing factors. We have a seven typical step on that, as you can see here, starting from the theme selection then going to finally uh, we, we go to uh, we go to standardization. Uh, the contents of those seven topics will be looked into in the next video. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your watching. Mountain of hospital management is very important. We should always uh, look into each content of the man uh, this particular. Uh, uh, mountain of management, then try to be more and more holistic and also understand every factor related to our hospital management. Nice to have you in this video and then let's meet again very soon in the next one. Thank you, bye bye.